630 currently makes no tandem bikes. Um, it's something from a personal level I would love to do. Uh, the reason why we don't do tandem bikes is number one, it's a very large product that is very expensive to ship. And so uh, being a direct to consumer company or doing most of our business online and it requires shipping, it's a very large box and will be very expensive for us to figure out the best way to deliver that to the consumer. And so to this day, we've yet to come up with a great solution on how can we make a tandem bike and, um, and, and send it out to customers. The other thing is, is unfortunately, there's very few tandem bike riders in the US. I would say, you know, um, <clears throat> it's something that it's hard to stay profitable when making a tandem bike. And, um, there's other companies that have done it. There's very few companies currently that even make tandem bikes. I do believe Schwinn makes a tandem bike. Um, there's another company called Sunlight, I believe, that makes a tandem bike. And um, they most likely do it as just an offering to their customers, so they have it in their catalog. Unfortunately for 630, it's been difficult for us to add that type of bike to the rest of our bikes and find a way to make it profitable in our product mix. I think it's... Um, Kind of obvious when you talk about tandem bikes, what makes it different than a normal bike, which is two seats. Um, two seats, two handlebars, two sets of pedals, two sets of cranks. And so um, it's an interesting thing. You've got two people powering one bike versus one person powering one bike. It takes the workload um, and, and allows you to split it amongst two people. Also, you can have one person doing no work and another person driving the entire power of the bicycle. So it's kind of a fun way to ride a bike. If you want to alternate one pedals, one doesn't, or you know what, if one person's looking for a serious workout, put them on there with, uh, you know, another person and he can do all the work if he's trying to work twice as hard on, on, uh, versus, you know, riding by himself. So again, big difference, two seats, two handlebars, two pedals, two cranks, normal, normal bicycle, one pedal, one crank, one seat. Searching for a tandem bike, uh, quite honestly, can be a challenging feat. Uh, not many bike stores keep tandem bikes in their inventory um, because of how much space they take up, the cost, um, and the frequency of even them being purchased. So the way I can help or 630 could help someone find a tandem bike is I would give some advice and I would say, number one, do some research online. This is going to be a product you're most likely going to have to search out on the internet and actually find a store that carries it. Um, there are some, um, I know they're on Amazon, um, you know, so you could buy it online. Unfortunately, in the, sen in the case of buying a tandem, you may not be able to test ride it beforehand. Um, you know, if you'd wanna find a bike store that carries it, my suggestion is you'd probably have to call a lot of them and ask. Um, you may also be able to get a bike shop to special order it for you. However, there might be an obligation on your side to buy it when it comes in. Uh, perhaps you could strike a deal with a bike shop and say, can you order it so I can try it? Um, <clears throat> there might be some out there willing to take that chance on you. Um, so I would just say, number one, be certain that you have test ridden a, a tandem bike beforehand because number one, they're going to be harder to find. They're going to be harder to return and the inventory out there is going to be far less. So. When you go to purchase, you should be certain that that's the bike you want because the bike buying experience is going to be a little more challenging for a tandem versus other, um, other bicycles.